Hey everyone, it's Grady from Sub Overland, and behind me is a 57 Suburban that I'm working on now. And uh, let's get right into the video. So here it is in all its glory. So this thing is a 1957 Suburban and uh, I did not purchase this, although it is pretty sweet. Um, I actually, um, a client brought it to us. So they just purchased it yesterday and I am getting it roadworthy to drive back to the Boise area. Um, so we're doing tires and fluids and checking some other things. So. Uh, anyway, this thing is great. I absolutely love it. I had to shut that hood really quick, but anyway, this thing, uh, so it's a 57 Subur or a GMC Suburban, and it is on an 87 uh, Suburban frame. So it is four-wheel drive. Um, apparently, this thing actually was four-wheel drive from the factory. Um, it was, oh man, I forgot the conversion. There was a bunch of four-wheel drive conversion companies back in the day. And so it had um, that going on. But uh, the owner had since swapped it over to an 87 frame because of gearing, um, I think they mentioned. And so it has uh, a 5.7 uh, V8. It's still throttle body injection um, like they came and uh it's got a big old lift on it probably like a six or something and uh it's a half ton suburban so it's you know six lug and everything so i'm assuming it has the uh 700 r4 transmission uh 10 bolt axles and everything uh but fun project uh for you know the the owner i guess this car was originally from this area and then it ended up in california um, and then it came back to Idaho where it was uh, purchased from the clients that I'm working with right now. But uh, today I am going to be doing tires. So these tires, these are really old. They are, you know, 35 by 12 and a half, 15 but they're at least 10 years old. And so they're, um, one of them already blew out. So they're replacing these tires and I'm gonna be putting on some um, 35s, some ones that are better on the highway and things like that. And then I'll be doing uh, all the fluids. And then let's, interior, it's pretty cool. So it's got all these old gauges. You can see here. Um, these are all custom. So he did like custom wood. And then uh, all of these aftermarket gauges here. And then kept the uh, 87 Suburban uh, steering column and everything. And then these seats are not a Suburban underneath. But the, the guy also... This is a third row seat out of a Suburban. And then in here, if I can lighten it up here. So they might bring us, bring it back to us for a uh, conversion, which I would be stoked about. But this is kind of what you can expect from, you know, a Suburban like this. I just think it's in fantastic shape having all, you know, rust free got four wheel drive which is really cool you know anyway it's in good shape and i'm excited to do the project so here i am inside this thing and it's just super fun to drive i've just been driving it around here to get it get the fluids warm 
but uh, man, I'm sitting real tall up here. Again, it's a big old lift, 35s, and uh, I don't know. It's just like a different experience. I don't think I've driven a 50s car. If I can, I, I definitely, I've worked on 60s cars and things like that, but I think this might be the oldest car that I've ever worked on. So, um, pretty cool.